Issues like high housing costs, expensive service land and underemployment are just some of the major contributors towards Namibia's housing crisis. The situation is worsened by the fact that 88% of Namibian households are in the ultra-low and low-income groups, with the majority living in informal settlements. The revised national housing policy will now look at creating a focused, affordable and pragmatic approach to adequate housing for the majority in need. First and foremost, on upscaling and mainstreaming participatory informal settlement upgrading um, based on the, the, the um, acknowledgement that already the majority of urban residents live in informal settlements and so um, you know improving their situation will have the biggest um, the broadest possible impact secondly to avoid future um, informal settlement growth um, we have to look at the provision of basic uh, service land through incremental greenfield developments so that local authorities can proactively plan um, urban extensions. The country's population is expected to exceed 3 million by 2030 and Minister of Urban and Rural Development Erastus Utoni admits that Namibia is finding it hard to keep up with the demand even though there has been a significant growth in housing projects over the years. Government has done a lot in terms of housing and very soon you see how government has done this. From the independence to date, you could see that it's a lot of housing that were constructed, but still, since the population is growing, it's like we are not doing anything. Because we are not sleeping, we are also trying our level best. And that is where you are going to learn and then plan. The minister says it's not just about developing sound policy instruments, but that it's important to align efforts and responsibilities that need to be strictly monitored and evaluated to ensure effectiveness. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.